Lowy the Turkey Man here with some tips on how to carve a turkey. In my family, we've been doing it this way for three generations. It's always best to start with a very sharp knife, which I have here. First thing we'll do is take out the pop-up timer. Next thing is we'll take the wings off. Now there's a couple ways to do it. One is to cut in like so, right under the armpit basically and uh, pull, you know, pull, pull off the wing. Okay, just like so. And then we'll disjoint the wing. Some people like the drum, drumette part of it. Some people like the, uh, they call it the diaper because it's like a pin with two, um, two bones in it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and put it on my tray. The other way to take off a wing, an easy way to take off the wing, is actually to turn the turkey over and cut right into the underarm, like so. And pull back, and it just easily comes off. Boom, just like that. And we'll turn the turkey back on its back. And just like we did the other one, we'll disjoint it. And this turkey happens to be falling apart on the bone. So if you get a turkey like that, sometimes it's hard to actually turn the turkey over to cut the wings off, okay? So now we're gonna take the legs off. Easiest way to do that is just to put, there's a, a space in between the drumstick and the, and the, well, the leg and the breast, and, the, and uh, the knife just goes right down there. Then you'll wanna push right down here and pull on the top so that it snaps out. And there you can see the bone right there pops out. You'll see this bone, part of the thigh bone. And just take it, take it off. I'm going to set this over here while I do the other side. And you just cut right down there very lightly. You don't have to put a lot of pressure in there. And again, you'll push down and pull back and you get the bone that pops right out. Perfect. Okay, so then I'm going to separate the drumstick, the drumstick from the thigh. Just to cut straight down and I like to just push it apart and it just basically, you'll, you'll see right where, the, uh, right where the joint is. So you can just slide the knife right down there and I'll put that over there and I'll get my other one and do the same thing and slide it right down the middle there push it apart and see where the bone is, and it easily comes apart. And there you got your two drumsticks, okay? That leaves you with uh, uh, now the thighs. What I like to do is uh, take apart the meat off of the thigh. So really, all you have to do is just pull, pull it off the bone. As you can see, it comes off, but there's gristle in here, and you know, you don't want to serve your guests gristle. So if you, uh, you know, you could, just take it right off like so and throw, it, and throw it out. That's what I do. And then you'll have meat there. And this is actually the bone. So here's another example of some gristle that we just want to pull off and, and not uh, serve to our, to our guests. But you'll have a, a center pile of uh, dark meat here. And in some cases, it might be a big piece, so you may want to cut it in half, okay? Because people do like dark meat. And um, you know, then you have uh, more meat on the bone, which you just kind of peel off, take off the gristle. Um, okay, like so. Okay, perfect. So now what we have left is the breast and the back, the breast and the back. So what I like to do is cut down right in the cavity here. It's a very easy cut. You don't have to put much pressure in there and pull the back out. And it's basically another movement like this where you just put it, break it right there. And this is the secret right here that, you, that you'll never see anywhere else. But right here, these two pieces of meat, right here and right here, those are called the oyster. And I'm gonna slide my thumb underneath and it looks almost like an oyster, but it is considered to be the best, most juiciest part of the turkey. And I always like to tell people that it's uh, saved for the turkey carver, okay? 
So there's, there is some meat here uh, as well, so that you could take, you know, take off the meat and put it on your tray. Uh, also, to use this back as a, as a good uh, 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 soup, uh, good for soup stock, okay? So these are the oysters. I'm going to set these off to the side because I'm going to have those later, okay? So now we just have the, uh, just the breast left over, okay? So now what we want to do is take out the upper part of the back, but before we do that, there are two bones right here. We pull this off. A lot of times they'll have meat on them. I think they're the scapula bones. Sometimes we'll have meat on them. Uh, here's a little bit of meat on it that you'll just uh, take off and place in your pot center pile of meat. And um, uh, you could see that th this is really the piece that is the scapula meat right here. So you could put, put that over there. Okay. And then what we want to do is actually take off the back so that we have just the breast left over. So it's really easy to just, you know, take it out like so. Yeah. And uh, there's some ribs in here that we want to push inward so that we take those out. Okay, and on this side, here's some more, and we just push them, push them in. Very easy to push in. So now, what we have left is the breast. And, uh, you know, what, what we want to do is um, now, uh, some people like to cut the breast like this. So you have the long pieces. Uh, some people do that on the at the table. Uh, personally, I like to take the whole lobe off and then cut it crossways, and that's what we're going to do this time. You just run the knife right down the center of the turkey breast and gently pull it apart. So what you have is just a lobe of turkey. Okay, so now I'll use the electric knife to make some just beautiful slices. And you could cut it as thick or as thin as you want. And these are actually somewhat thick pieces, but I'm going to cut a few thin ones. Some people like it thin. And you could actually do this also uh, afterwards and make great sandwiches out of this. But it sure makes it easy with an electric knife. I know there's some people that may not ascribe to using an electric knife, but it, this part of the process makes it very easy. Now this is also something that you can do beforehand, actually many hours before your guests come over. And what you could do is actually, instead of on the platter, put it back in the uh, pot, in the cooking vessel that you use, and reheat it along with the juices. That way you're insured of nice, juicy, hot turkey. Okay, now I'll make a little room here. Take the whole thing, lay it in, and there we go. That, my friends, is how to carve a turkey.